even if you want to go into the not-for-profit sector, there's, there's a whole heap of information and structure around getting more information about how you want to go there. And particularly smaller organisations, I think the big challenge, big organisations have been doing this for a while, and I think one of the great opportunities of the cloud is the fact that this allows smaller players to start playing like the big players. And that's, there's one big message I think that I'm seeing in the business sector is this move uh, away from the fact is I'm big, I look big, I'm actually big. Sometimes I look big but I'm actually very small. And that's something that the bigger players in the market really need to think about. So I want to talk about how you guys might be using the cloud, some of the opportunities and ultimately some of the risks. So I, I do think it's I, I, I do think it's important to be aware of risk. I just don't think it should drive every decision that you're making. Uh, has anybody got a, a, a device in their pocket at the moment that's connected to the internet? They could get their email, access a website. Anybody not? Well, I should ask. Should I, should, can we should tell them to turn that off right now because I don't want them surfing my subject matter while I'm coming to it. But anytime, anywhere, access. It's all, what it's all about, isn't it? Now you don't. Sunday night, you want to check what's, what's happening tomorrow morning. What's my calendar look like? Has anybody sent me any information? What are the footy schools? Not necessarily in that order. So these are the sorts of things. We want to be connected and this is the kind of stuff. And when we start to talk, we're very lucky to have Kate from LinkedIn here today. We start to talk about collaborating with the people you want to connect with. When I talk to not-for-profits, it's all about remaining relevant. How do you want to connect with people? This is a great way of doing it. Putting your information out there in the cloud, having a really interactive website and intranet and you can even probably use something like LinkedIn as Kim has with this group to bring people together to start having that conversation. So being anytime, anywhere access is really, really important and a great opportunity. Software is always current. Uh, great frustration of me as a chartered accountant is when I'm working with a client on their accounts. Do they have the latest version of the software that I'm using? Which version is it? Where's the password? Is it out of date? All that kind of rubbish starts to disappear now. And that's not just for the accounting, and I apologise if I put an accounting slant on that, because that's not just accounting software, that's any version of software that you've been using over the last 20 or 30 years. You always have to make sure you knew what version and you have to get those upgrades, and if it wasn't upgraded it wouldn't work, and at some stage it all runs out. Cloud-based software is always up to date, because they're doing it in the background, and they'll send you the little Either when you log on, they'll tell you what's new, or they'll send you an email, tell you what's new, and you go, wow, there's some really good stuff going on here. Identity is incredibly important, and LinkedIn is a place where you can actually transform your resume into your, your reputation. So I'm going to give you some tips around how you can do that as well. The second area is around your networks. So again, to my first point in terms of how I started using LinkedIn as a platform myself, it was not only about being able to, to stay connected with my um, with the relationships I'd formed over time, but constantly manage and invest in those relationships because there'll be times when I want to be able to offer advice and help and service to people within my network because there are definitely going to be times when I'm going to need it in return. Uh, and the third and final piece um, is really around knowledge. So LinkedIn, probably in the last two years, has really shifted from just being a place where you upload the information about um, you know, your current role and connect with people that you met with at breakfast, um, to really being a place where you come to consume knowledge and learn things about, um, you know, the industries that you're in. So LinkedIn made an executive choice where we invested in uh, news aggregates like Pulse. We also invested in SlideShare where people can now upload uh, their decks and information around, um, you know, uh, presentations that they've done in the past. And uh, we introduced the Influencer Program, which was a program where we had specialists within certain industries kind of talk to their learnings and best practices within those.